Oh guys, we have made it to 2019 and that means it's time for my third video in this entry videos that I'm making about my collection. A lot of you guys have been wanting to see a room tour, kind of just go over the little aspects of my room and some smaller details that you guys don't get to see. Like what's over here? You guys don't even know what's in this area. But I do, and I'm excited to show you guys what's around the room tour. You'll see some things from the other videos, of course, the Blu-rays and the Pops, but I'll be going over some of the smaller details of my room. So guys, thank you guys so much for all the support, and let's get to that room tour. Or should I say, what was that show from MTV? Like, Pimp My Crib, My Cribs? I guess this is My Cribs. <laughs> All right, guys, you guys asked for it. This is my room tour. This is my cribs, I guess, if I was on MTV. Um, so pretty much if you've gone through the Blu-rays and the Pop collections, I'm not going to necessarily go through those again. So if you guys want to check those out, you guys can check them out in the link above. But I'm really just going to go over some of the small things that you guys kind of miss. Uh, Cross-country awards from when I was back in high school. The Steelers, uh, Steamboat Willie, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Uh, I, I love these two, especially having Steamboat Willie. It's one of my favorite cartoons ever made. Uh, these are some of my favorite things I've ever had. Uh, Trunks, Killing Frieza, and of course Pennywise being all creepy as hell. Uh, these are actually ticket subs from every time I buy movies, I pop them in there. My sister made this. It's a beautiful thing. Z-Man, my grandpa made that for me. This is my poster wall. Um, this is actually a wall to a closet, but I wanted to put a bunch of posters on it. I get a ton of them, and I was like, hey, why not put a bunch on them? And most of these movies I actually really like, if not love. Um, of course, I went over kind of the top of it with my pop collection, but behind all these are actually Gears of War guns, like actual like life-size weapons from Gears of War. I love Gears of War. You got some Deadpool statues up there, Uncharted, uh, some Legend of Zelda, Oswald statues, Dare, uh, not Daryl, Daredevil, Daryl, uh, Heisenberg, and of course we have this dude, but I love this guy. Uh, it's a pop, it's a little alien from uh, Christmas Wise, so he's always sitting above me and watch me. Um, some more posters, The Last Jedi, uh, Happy Happy Joy Joy, uh, actually signed by Bob Camp. Um, some stickers that I've gotten, I really like these. Of course, Jessica Rabbit, my dear. Uh, this, if you know what this is from, I love you. Venom, Donnie Darko, uh, Dark Knight poster down there, Mad Max. Uh, stuff like that but really some of the other things that are kind of smaller details behind me is of course goku iron giant uh toy story pin actually given to me by sandwich john films john he got this for me when he went to the toy story land limited release this is cool i cannot wait to go to there a rick and morty morty adventure card a batman beyond statue with my original game boy color with my pokemon silver inside of it yeah i i love this game that uh, i just it has to be put in the background of course i got trunks right there uh, this is cody curtis he has me i usually move that around up there uh this sword actually is barbosa sword from pirates of the caribbean gotta have that and of course i have a ton of video games uh for people who know me and love video games i play video games on the daily xbox one switch uh, and nes and a ps4 gotta have them all have all these games um i love that the xbox one x is a backwards compatible so i can play a lot of games um games i'm playing right now assassin's odyssey persona 5 i've had forever i need to play and let's go pokemon right here this game's fun but really the things i love is this little display i have right here um it has my watchman collection kind of all right here i have a little groots right here as well but I have little Groots over here as well, but when you move over to here, this is my display. Um, I have a legitimate Babadook book, Roma art book that was sent to me from Netflix, and I love, love, love Roma, and I love this art book. Toy Story, the art and making of. I have some screeners right here. Um, Inception, Wolf of Wall Street, A Quiet Place script. Um, this is an art book, kind of just going through like different sorts of films. Uh, you got this Marvel little display. People might be wondering why I have a black light. Well, this is a little light that I use for Funko Pops to light up. But of course, you got Thanos and the Iron Man Buster over there. When you shoot up, you got these two little cute guys. Vegeta, Goku, my Naruto poster right behind here, my Rey poster right behind here. Going around you, look at the Guardians of the Galaxy. You got Kylo Ren, and of course, a Dragon Ball Z poster. The, the cool things about these two posters that are on each side from the anime is it actually tells the story from Dragon Ball all the way up to the top. 
and then this one actually does the same thing with Naruto all the way to the top and I think it's a beautiful poster I wish I had the artist's name but if you guys know him give him out a shout out into the description or comment down below moving over here this is my little setup um where i film podcasts where i do all that sorts of stuff i have a steamboat willy steamboat willy vinyl rocket raccoon stranger things i have tons of stuff behind here um some of my original ninja turtle toys uh this is actually all connected to my well everything under here i have a ps3 under here a wii that runs gamecube games um uh, all my favorite graphic novels Preacher, Walking Dead, some Darkness, um, some really underrated ones, Spencer and Locke. If you like Calvin and Hobbes, definitely check this one out. I met them at Phoenix Comic Con and really liked it. I've had this since I was for who knows how young. But yeah, this is my little setup. Um, little camera thing right here, but this is where I do all my work and all my display. And if you guys want to see what's on my background right now, it's Avengers. Now, moving down to one of the coolest things I have ever received from one of my old managers, he made this. It is Stormbreaker. This is amazing. This is beautifully made. And of course, I have some Keyblades underneath there as well, but come on now. It's Stormbreaker. You, This thing's so badass, and thank you, Josh. Shout out to you. Um, moving through here, you see some of these displays that I've gotten a lot from my friend Jaylene, who works at Harkins. She's gotten me a ton of these. Um, Jack Sparrow, though, and Daryl are from my family. I just love having more of these, so they're fun. This is from my friend Colleen. This is an actual painting of Heath Ledger's Joker that she got in Italy for me from a, a well, a painter out there, and it is one of the my favorite things that I have in my room. He watches over me while I sleep. Um, moving over here, I got a Wonder Woman. I got a Mad Max over here, and actually, if you look behind here, this, my friend, is, if I'm not wrong, I'm pretty sure it's from Adam Daly. I, I get, I have so many things from different people, but Adam did send me some posters. I gotta give him a shout out for that. Um, when you do look at this, this is one of my favorite posters as well. It's Mad Max. Gotta love that. Behind my Funkos is a Deadpool poster. <laughs> it's taken up. It's the Deadpool 2 poster of them touching hands, and I gotta get it back out. Uh, I got a La La Land poster behind here. The Infinity Gauntlet. All my Amiibos, and this is my display of Amiibos, I love Nintendo, and even though I didn't really grow up with them, I've really come to love them over the ages, and from that same guy who made the Naruto posters over there, we have the Super Smash Bros. poster that he's created, another amazing artwork. Now this is where we get to my statues. These are things that I've gotten from game collections. I have the God of War statues right here. I have the Gears of War statue with another set over here. Fallout, Borderlands, uh, the actual soda from Fallout. Don't ask me about Fallout 76. I'm kind of pissed off at it right now. A drum set from Ant-Man the Wasp. Uh, Hot Fuzz. You see kind of just different things that are kind of just scattered all around. My Rotten or Fresh trophy for winning. You got to have that in there. Um, and just some other small things in there. A Darth Maul limited edition uh, toy from the original Phantom Menace. Uh, some stuff from Japan that my dad is, or not Japan, China that my dad's got me. And really, that is where those go to. And the last but not least poster that I need to show is this beautiful Iron Giant one. It, it's companies right me at the door. When you open the door, this is supposed to be one of the first things that you'll ever see. And Iron Giant is just amazing. Let's just be honest there. But now, when you get to the door, I have a Justice League poster. I think this is pretty badass. And shout out to Cody Curtis for getting me this awesome Ray poster. My cribs, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know what your what's in your cribs. Like, what do you do? We have any of the same stuff? Do you have anything cool? Let's discuss it down below. What else should I get in this crib? Thank you guys again for all the support. And until next time, stay classy.